Good evening, everyone. This is Radio City, broadcasting live from Season 2 of Phoenix Craft. Today's episode is brought to you by Prolofa's Box Experience. Stressed out? Need to put a smile back on your dial? Drop in to Prolofa's Fox Experience and watch these delightful animals entertain you with their antics. Coo over the adorable baby foxes or listen to the foxes play delightful music. Entry is free, but please leave a donation to support the upkeep of the foxes. And now, the news. The recent death of a panda bear destined for the panda habitat at Spawn has sparked concern about the treatment of animals in Phoenix Craft. Reports of citizens collecting llama heads as trophies and the deaths of several horses in freak portal accidents have circulated among the population. Anonymous signs commenting on perceived cruelties have appeared across Spawn Town. But tensions erupted when a local business was targeted by a group known as the PSPCF, the Phoenix Craft Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Foxes. The business owner responded to the accusations by demonstrating how well treated his foxes were. However, it appears that his demonstration has only added fuel to the fire. The PSPCF has remained silent but the opening of a fox-powered disco and the launch of a panda adoption service is sure to catch the attention of these unknown crusaders. Who will they target next? Today's news was brought to you by Prolofa's Fox Experience. Fox fun for all the family. And that's the news for today. This is Radio City signing off. Hello, it's Pen Pen here on the Finnish Craft Server. It is season two, episode eight, and today is chore day. We are doing all the chores today. I know that doesn't sound very exciting, but it really is because we are going to build a stables. We're going to build a road to Marigold Cottage. We're going to do the orchid farmhouse. We're going to build a bridge from the farmhouse to Radio City, and we're going to do the road to Radio City. Finally, so that's what's on the cards today. It's a big day full of little jobs, but I need to get these done so I can move on and get Radio City started. Oh, hello, Beats. So, <laughs> so G4 suggested I call my parrot Beats uh, in, I don't know, honor, memoriam, memoriam of Prolofa, who I am totally going to kill for filling my pace with Beats. Let's go and have a look at the work area. Hey puppy, you can come with me and uh, see if we can get landed on by a creeper. I need to do something about this roof. It's not the roof that's the problem. It's the fact that creepers can get on the roof and then land on my head. So today, this area, stables, then a road from here over the mountains to Marigold Cottage, which is that way. Another road in this direction to Radio City. And I should put my wings on. Let me... And so this is where Radio City will be. Uh, haven't done much to it. Road from here over to the Orchid Farm, which I built quite a while ago now, and a really nice bridge connecting them so that I can rescue my pup. Where's my horse? I've lost my horse. I was going to say so that I can rescue my horse. Maybe I've already rescued him and I've forgotten about it. I don't know. But anyway, that's the plan for today. So heaps to do. So I kind of uh, started this before this the stables that I'm working on and I tore it down again because uh, I was approaching it from the wrong way. I was thinking about the building rather than about how many horses I want to have in it. So. <laughs> I'm redoing it now by doing the stables first. So the back wall will be along here. Uh, stables are four wide, there'll be gates there. So that's one, two, three, and then another three on this side, and then three down there. Yeah, that should be enough horses. Uh, I like horses. So, all right, fill this in with sand and then 
think about what the building is going to look like because I think it's going to be quite large-ish. And I'm just finishing the roof. I've sort of jumped through hoops a little bit to make it non-spawnable uh, because of aforementioned creepers landing on my head. But uh, it should be bottom blocks the whole way around. Yep, so this is completely non-spawnable and hopefully also looks good. Let's go and have a look. Do, 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 do. Ooh oh, scaffolding. Also, while I was offline for like 10 minutes, somebody came and pranked me. So we have Penn's Animal Farm. All animals are equal, but some animals are more equal than others. And my stables are full of pigs. Um, so if you've ever read Animal Farm, you will understand this prank. Yeah, a literary prank, you know, you can't quibble about that. But uh, yeah, this is the stable finished. I like it. It fits with the whole build theme. It's good and solid, uh, which is what I wanted. Again, matching the fortress theme. And once I do the staging area out here, it will be very secure. So all I've got to do now is uh, evict the piggies. Sorry, pigs. Out you go. This is a horse stable not a pig stable and go and fetch my horses and I've had a brilliant idea oh I also did this it was a big hole in the ground and I thought oh I could fill it in but uh, you know what I really like water features there aren't enough water features so I filled it in it'll look a lot better once all this grass uh, stops being grass and I'm going to have it cascade down into this little area as well and fill that with water uh, which I think will look really nice and the pathway to Marigold Cottage will come around this side and pretty much go straight through the forest to the mountains which you can't see because that oak tree's in the way to the, ma the mountains over there you can see them now uh, which should be good don't look down there I'll tell you about that later but what I thought about while I was building sorting things out was how awesome this would look as a cliff like it's a cliff right now but it's a minecraft cliff and I think I'm going to turn all of this all the way around into there and all the way along this side into a terraformed cliff and have a nice waterfall coming down there and into the uh, the little lagoon here that's come off the river I think that will finish this area off nicely and then you know I don't know some flowers or something down here I'll think of something but now it's time to move my horses who've been in this pen this tragic pen unloved and unwanted for a very long time so I was coming home late uh, from doing my pathway and I have a zombie horde. I've never had a zombie horde before. And boy, are there a lot of them. <laughs> they just keep coming and coming. And I've been up here for a couple of minutes now just shooting zombies uh, as they come in. I managed to, as you can see, pillar up onto the roof where I'm safe because unfortunately I didn't finish my fence before I came up. And uh, they've just been walking over, <laughs> walking into my safe space. So good job. And I have to be really careful not to shoot my puppies while I'm shooting zombies. But uh, so far, so good. And they've been finishing them off nicely. But it's a little dangerous down there for the poor things. And they're still coming. I must have killed at least 20 by now. This is insane. Uh oh. Oh, oh no. And I'm out of arrows. Um <laughs> I do have more arrows. They are in my shulker box, um, which is on the other side of which is outside the fence on the other side. So uh yeah, not really sure 
what I'm going to do about that. Uh, they're down there. All right. I'm going for it. I'm going for it, people. Should be fine. Just need to stop zombies coming in. Get out. No. Get out. Uh, see, if I'd finished this off, I wouldn't be dealing with a bunch of zombies. And I can't swing my sword freely because it will hurt my puppies. So it's all but out. Yes, kill him. Kill him. No, get off. Get off. Get. No. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. They're outside. My arrows are still also outside, but uh, at least they can't get in. Oh, no. Oh, oh my puppies. Oh, you. Oh, you awful blasted crit. Oh, get out. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, I hate creepers so much. My poor puppies have some rotten flesh. I've got heaps. Okay. All right. We lived. We lived, people. What an almighty mess. And all this because I didn't finish building my lampposts. And zombies crawled in over my walls. Oh, so uh, yeah, I think I might uh, repair the damage and move all of my gear inside. Pretty proud of the uh, the rapid, <laughs> the quick towering out of danger. That worked quite well. And uh, I've been breeding my puppies so that uh, yeah, to replenish my stock. Since I lost three puppies in the creeper explosion. Blasted creepers. All right. But anyway, before that, before I was so rudely blown up by a creeper and attacked by a horde of zombies. Look, there's still zombies. Hey, um, I cleared pretty much all the way to the mountains. Now, my original plan was to go over... Oh, blasted creep! <laughs> Did you see that? Did you see that? It was totally lying in wait behind that tree. Awful things. Anyway, <laughs> just I'm not having good luck with mobs today. I was going to go over the mountain. That was my original plan. But, oh my gosh, I can't even jump today. But, you know, looking at this, I'm thinking, how cool would it be to tunnel through? Now, it's been quite some time since I've done a tunnel, and I do like a good tunnel. I've come in to spawn because I'm pretty sure that... Aha! Yes, I was right. Someone is selling beacons. I want... I already have a beacon. But I want another one. Three diamonds! Uh, I want a spare to put in my base in a box. Kidding me, three diamonds. This is what happens when you have a wither skull farm. Like, I, I walked around a nether fortress for four hours to get my skulls. And now I can just wander in. This is why... I absolutely love being on a server because it's not that, you know, I can't do any of these, but if someone's going to do it for me, all good. I will wave diamonds at you until my problem goes away. So, finished off the staging area after the zombie extravaganza, tidied up. And ready to totally cheat my way out because I'm lazy. <laughs> that's that's River Haven, except for the landscaping, complete. Disclaimer, landscaping. And I've had a fabulous idea for this pathway, which I'm looking forward to playing with. But I've got my beacon. And, oh, no. It, oh, no, it's not. I thought it was pillagers. Turns out just a skelly hey dude uh, i brought my beacon over so that i can dig my way through this hillside and i can't decide whether to start down here 
or start a bit higher. I'll hop over the other side and uh, and think about it. So I'm kind of stumped about what to do in terms of decoration. My original plan was to do something really formal, but I'm not sure that that actually suits the like the tone of the landscape. So if I do something a bit more natural, if I do something a bit more natural, which I'd like to, but I thought, well, my beacon ran out, beacon, well, my beacon power ran out just before I got to the end, but that's okay. I got a couple of blocks to do and then tunnel is all dug it went really smoothly I didn't run into any ravines or bobs or anything touch wood the creeper will now drop on my head but this looks good like an enormous hole and I've been mulling over as I dig how I'm going to decorate this and I'm still stumped can't decide what to do with it so for now it's just going to be a tunnel rather ugly square tunnel sorry pz uh, marigold cottage is just over there when i get inspiration then i will come back and decorate it still no idea none okay all right, but that's another job checked off the list. Now to collect my beacon and head for the swamp. So the other thing I'm doing today, of course, is heading over to the orchid farm to build a farmhouse. I've decided I'm going to take Ruffian today. Hello. little tripsy I do like riding across here this doesn't actually connect but there's a very narrow bit here and i could do a very interesting ow Hit my head interesting bridge across there i think and i'm pretty sure this is an island Let's just ride around and check. Yes, is an island. So the whole ooh, whole island can be the farm. Uh, oh, although it's it's comfortable shape, but it does already have sheep and pigs. Oh, so it's got a like a lagoon in the middle. Hmm, Trixie, but this is the main bit. The farms. Oh my gosh, you can see I made them in a hurry because I uh, didn't have enough glass and I made do as you do. Yes, this is where the farmhouse will be. And you just wander around and don't get into trouble. All right, let's get bearing. Well, this is a bad start. Tragedy struck while I was setting up my music. Um, and <laughs> Ruffian's gone, as in he um, passed away in the portal somehow. I don't know, but all I have left is a saddle, his armor, a piece of his skin. Oh, are you kidding me? I, <laughs> I had to go and do some admin stuff. And I came back through the portal forgetting that I hadn't actually relit the portal when I moved it. And look where it made it. Ah! <laughs> God. So I'm skinning this farm with a crock house. So I'm really into crock houses at the moment. I think they're fantastic. They're uh, sort of a mid to late medieval style of house but based on the central wooden frames. And this one is a more later style because the frame is actually hidden by a whitewashed wall. I have a very simple roof, which is also good. 
and they look fabulous because of course I don't need to do the interior for this because I'm just skinning the farm. It just needs to look good from the outside. So anyone who's flying over or riding past gets a nice view. Uh, I'll have to, so there's all the crux for the frames done. Just have to slap a roof on. And it's a very simple roof. There's no gables in these houses. So you just wrap it all the way around. 50 bazillion dark oak staircases and uh, we'll be done. Pretty fabulous view from up here. Pity I'm never coming back up here again. Roof is done. Well, finishing off. There we go. Beautiful. And that's my crook house done. Oh, lights. Lights are needed in the inside of the house. But uh, yeah, it looks fabulous. I love these beams. Well, it looks a bit tidier now. I've, uh, <laughs> I've actually finished. I started doing the landscaping this afternoon and then some people came on and I was just chatting away and landscaping and it's done and I completely forgot to record any of it. So let me give you a little tour. Uh, this is the farm finished. We've got this lovely pathway. I really enjoyed using some bright sort of orangey tones with the swamp because they go really well with the grass here, especially this style matches with the pods all little pig pen because you know the people who live here they got to eat something can't eat grass and over here under the tree a little seat to look at the view what a gorgeous view what a lovely view and i really enjoyed doing a sort of a how would you describe it very wild sort of landscape down here I've used this technique before when I was in Phoenixville uh, and it's the sort of the sunken lots of puddles, lots of um, sugar cane, often lots of creepers, very dangerous this sort of landscaping because there's no lights here. This is not a landscape that you uh, actually walk through, this is a landscape that you view preferably from a long way away. And up here we have a little pumpkin patch and wheat and some beets because, you know, they're suffering enough living out here. They might as well be eating beets as well. On the other side, go around this way. Podzol used to great effect. Really love Podzol as a block. Up here, again, nice view out, a very lonely view out across the water nothing to see is the graveyard of some of the previous inhabitants uh, Lotherion remembered fondly and Silvara beloved very sad very lonely uh, over here we've got fallen timber which has just been left to rot no use for it and the wild island on the other side I haven't touched that but you can see I've put some little markers in here. I've been thinking as I was building, I kept thinking that this is really not the sort of place that would have a bridge going to it. I mean, it's a lonely farmhouse on a swampy island. It's got poor soil, you know, poor vegetation. This is not a place that anyone wants to actually live. So why would it have a bridge coming across from the big city? That doesn't make sense. So instead I decided to do this little, well this was already here, this little sort of creek between the owl. Owl, excuse you. Nope. Can I not shoot from a boat? I, <laughs> this is not going well. Anyway, after being so rudely interrupted, um yeah this little creek was here i just put them you know the what do you call it leading lights oh and of course it's raining that just makes it perfect look at this insalubrious landscape 
like can you imagine living here and how lonely and dull and miserable it would be which is exactly the feeling I wanted to have and I mean if I'd built an enormous bridge from here across to there it just would have ruined the feeling of being isolated and being alone so I decided not to I think it works perfectly just how it is I'm really happy with how it came out I know I say that a lot but I'm really happy with it and if we go around here you can see that it's overgrown and weedy I actually had to cut down the number of orchids uh, that were here because it was just too cheery there were too many cheery orchids <laughs> so I cut it down and replaced it with grass and uh, as you can see my steering skills leave a lot to be desired I don't have much hope for placing in the Grand Prix uh, later this month but anyway hopping out of the boat oh yeah oh that's great and it is actually quite nice inside but I didn't bother decorating it because in the end it is just it's just a skin for the flower farms all right here we go let's do I should have got a slow fall potion I never remember go yes no yes yes oh that was almost bad and oh yeah look at that it is a beacon of light and warmth in the middle of nowhere zoom well that's it my friends chore episode is done it came out really well i got heaps done most importantly got all my chores done so now we have the farmhouse done and if we shoot over this way over the future side of radio city we have the stable and the entrance at riverhaven that came out really well we've got started with our pathway over to marigold cottage which is wow look at the <laughs> this is what i love about building in minecraft the contrast between marigold cottage which is just this beautiful luxurious house and garden brightly lit welcoming and warm compare that to the lonely farmhouse <laughs> <laughs> a swampy island in the middle of nowhere and uh yeah and then coming into riverhaven which is my secure and lovely and bright base and we're home guys what an episode that was great i had such a great time i got so much done i was really happy with progress so i think this means that next time you guessed it Radio City is going to happen. I cannot wait. I'm so excited about it. I have a great build planned for the Central Plaza, which I hope that you'll like. So I guess this is Pen Pen signing out. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode and I will see you again. Bye.